Uh, currently, there are many verticals in business. So I would say when it comes to high tech and technology, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia really uh, uh, made the priority of that business areas because uh, they're not that strong in traditional areas. And be honest, we probably will never grow great wine uh, or produce great cars or great watches. So there are not that many verticals that we can focus. And for that reason, I think technology is a really spearhead for the whole of the region. And this is why Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia are really focusing on that. So you see uh, initiatives like e-government, the blockchain, Bitcoin coming from that region much faster than anywhere else on the planet. So I think uh, uh, that's indicative of, of, of really uh, that specific territorial region being really great for those specific technologies. Well, I have heard that, well, of, of course, you, we need to argue a little bit on what the definition of a startup, because it ranges, but I, I would say it's in the order of thousands per country, and that's compared to maybe tens per country only like five, ten years ago. So apparently there is a massive change. On the other hand, I still believe there is approximately 5x uh, uh, more capacity to grow, just relative, like, you know, like how many people versus how many startups you have. So I think we still have uh, uh, really room to grow. Oh, uh, I'm following a few. So apparently FinTech, and we've been talking at this conference, and FinTech is, I think, very hot, very interesting, definitely booming for specifically this region. Among others, I will mention, well, definitely AR, VR is awesome. Uh, 3D printing is awesome. Uh, uh, many other verticals as well. Well, uh, apparently you need to look again at every single different business vertical. So uh, uh, being in business for high tech not necessarily correlates with, say, high or low taxes, because again, end of the day, you do build technology, and technology does not always immediately translate into profits and revenue. So I would say, again, look at examples like YouTube or Skype. Uh, you could be worth tens of billions without generating too much revenue. So I think for a startup, as well for investor, uh, you know, for funding a new technology, actually taxes are probably only top five things, but definitely not the top one. But again, having said that, again, it's a general feeling that taxes on labor actually are among some of the higher ones in, in, in Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. But on the other hand, this is pretty traditional for the whole Europe as, as, as a whole. So I uh, wish, wish we were a little bit more liberal uh, as, as, as employment is in the United States. You know, this is a funny question, and I see many politicians uh, saying, hey, like, you know, like now you can open a business in three hours because everything is internet, online, blah, blah, blah. Before that, it was like two days, and so on. Uh, it raises a smile because as an entrepreneur, if uh, uh, spending two days on opening a business is an issue for you, <laughs> Uh, uh, and you fear that, and that is the reason stopping you from doing business altogether, given that probably you need to work like 10 years in the field, uh, uh, then you're not a real entrepreneur. <laughs> so it's a very marginal increase in, in, in terms of effort.